you guys? My name is Rage, and we are back today with a quick Red Star Orb opening video here for Yelena Belova. She's joining into the Marvel Strike Force universe, and it's gonna be great because she's gonna be able to gain stealth, uh, applying offense up. She's gonna really be able to increase those crit damage, uh, really lowering enemy chance to assist on non attack abilities, and when stealth, it's really beneficial that she transfers those positive effects from enemies to herself. So. Really going to be nice to see how she synergizes with the skill military, but let's dive in you guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and open some red star orbs. The game plan will be to open 10 today, and hopefully let's see if we can get the 3 red, ideally 2 if not. Um, and then let's talk about our abilities and the ones I would recommend in terms of overall T4ing. So go ahead here you guys um, to the orbs. As you can see here, if you go click here, um, you do see that the little eye over here does provide you with additional information. You want to make sure that you you are seeing that increased 15% chance here before you start, just because you never know, right? So as you can see, I do see that there. So that gives us the confirmation. So let's go ahead, you guys. We have 40 right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a... Uh, oh, wow. I, w I got super excited there because that would have been really nice if we got the 4 red there, but fortunately not. Let's keep continuing. Another purple. Wow. Unbelievable. So at least we're getting some upgrades here. Two two purples. Wow, what a what a good start already. Two purples. So at least we're getting upgrades here, you guys. This is really nice to see. That's number four. So unfortunately, no Yelena just yet. But you know what? That's uh, it's pretty big for us just to be able to see that um, those those ones that came right out of the gate. That's really really beneficial, especially with uh, two of them being upgrades for us. And so I can't complain. Um, we'll open, we'll open 10 for now and see what happens. Um, obviously, you know, it would be nice if I can just get that, take advantage of that increased percentage here, right? Two, um, uh, looks like two more here. If we don't get any Elena, you guys, maybe let's go ahead and maybe we might open a few more just to, just to kind of try our luck here. Because I do like the fact that, you know, we got to capitalize on the increased 15%. So you know what, why the heck not? Oh my goodness. So another purple so you know what at least the good news is we're getting a lot of um a, a duplicate credits here so perhaps we can take advantage of a an elite floor here two red okay oh beautiful there you guys have it um i previously rode a one with her uh, before but you, as you guys can see getting her with the three red that's ideally what i wanted beautiful so they take 14 orbs but fortunately i got a couple upgrades so i'm pretty happy about that um, as you guys can see right there. In addition, we did have a couple of um, Elite Four. So, I'm, you know, I'm actually going to save it right now for the time being. I'm going to read up on her and definitely do some more reviews just before I even attempt Elite Four. I just don't want to waste it, if I, if, especially if she's not that crazy of a character. But let's go ahead and take a look at her abilities first, though. Let's see what she's going to bring to the table, you guys. So, Yelena here. Got her with the three red. Let's go ahead and analyze. Um, in terms of her overall basic attacker, it looks like she essentially just attacks with increased damage. But... Additionally, she will also gain an assist from a random skill military or a Black Widow ally. So it's nice. She's going to be able to synergize with Black Widow as well as her skill military. In addition, if she has any ally that has stealth, she also has 50% chance to actually transfer the positives uh, to herself. So, I mean, really nice for just being able to actually be able to have additional positive buffs on her. And, and it looks like when we take a look at the base, uh, the basic T4 here, I always do like to analyze in terms of, um, you know, how does this compare to the previous levels before it? And level 7, not only does it give it an increased 50% damage, but also if you know if she has any ally that has stealth, she will instead transfer two positive effects um, instead of opposed to the actual the 50% chance. So it's a guarantee, right? So um, definitely, um, it depends on where the synergy of the, the skill military team goes. But if, if the positive buffs is a big component of this team, then this is definitely a basic I can see T flooring. Not I will not say that usually likely because you know basics aren't usually the ones that you T4, but damn, that's a pretty good effect depending on how we see the synergy of this team. Uh, her going dark special ability. Essentially she transfers one positive effect, obviously excluding taunt, from the primary target to all of her skill military allies. She's really she's trans transferring all the positive effects. Um, uh, to the rest of her team which is really really good especially if you're trying to buff up your team and get them ready for battle in addition as you guys can see here as you level this up they will in they will gain an increase to the damage and last but not least applying the t4 on here she will also be able to apply that disruption for two turns as opposed to the one turn and um actually i don't even see the one turn here i think it actually uh goes oh yeah it is one turn it applies the disruptive from one turn to two turns 
and in addition she will gain a plus two stealth up to a maximum of three so uh once again you guys this is pretty good it depends on what her her mechanic is will be in the game but just to apply that disruption is pretty damn good as well. Um, so it's worth considering for T4 for sure. And in addition, you can see that the increase in damage is always, always appreciated. In addition to gaining that, two that plus two stealth. So definitely I can see this having value as well. It's gonna be really hard to say right from the get go before we see them actually um, synergizing the skill military. But so far her abilities seem like a really good synergy so far. Um, uh, her ultimate here, essentially she's attacking her primary and adjacent targets for 100% damage. And I love I love attacks that can't be blocked because, you know, obviously, um, even if they have a block up or deflect, it's just going to uh, pass right through it and still apply the damage. In addition, this attack, as you level it up, it does also have an extra critical hit chance in addition to the increased damage. So I'm not sure how much damage she's actually going to be doing as part of the team. It sounds like more she was actually buffing it up. So this is one I don't actually know if I would want a T4 unless there's, you know, obviously critical hit chance is going to be a big component of this team. But how much of it is going to be a factor? Is it worth uh, T4 from a level 6 to gaining that extra 30% um, hit chance? That's what the question will be, right? For now, tentatively for now, I think I, I believe the, the basic and the special adds more value. Uh, we need to see how much um, the critical hit chance actually plays a factor into this team and that will determine whether or not this should be T4 uh, as a recommendation. And last but not least you guys, passives usually have the most kind of like um, juice in their ability. So on offense up, she has the 50% chance to gain stealth and in addition when she's stealth she also gains an extra 20% crit chance. Okay so there you go, um, I was just talking about that earlier with the, with the ultimate. So it sounds like whenever she does have stealth. Um, her crit critical hit chance is already being increased. In addition, as you level this up, um, her she also decreases the, the critical ch hit chance of her enemies. In addition, um, she's also going to be able to lower the chance to assist on the non-attack abilities for all enemies by 10% per skill military. So this is really just going to be a nice offset to kind of um, level the playing field. Really be able to put that uneven edge on your team when you're face facing up against enemies. In addition, um, if you guys were to level this here to level 4, um, it increases the overall damage and the additional chance to decrease the, the non-attack abilities. t 4 this would give her an increased 50% uh, critical damage in addition to uh, lowering another critical hit chance of the enemies by 15%. So uh, really her skill set is really going to be revolving around uh, creating buffs for the team. Um, transferring them to each other and really being able to kind of decrease the overall um, offensive output of the enemy so this is definitely um, her, her her passive here I'm not sure if I would t4 this just yet because like I said um, decreasing the critical hit chance by 15% is that gonna be enough to kind of keep the team alive um, it does this this passive's already done a great job being able to get to the level 4 so I don't know if I would t4 this just yet but for sure the basic and the special is definitely where I see value and the ultimate is really going to be how much of a factor does the critical hit chance play in this team. So that's overall, that's a high level view of Yelena right now. But um, took me a little a few more red orbs than I wanted. But, um, you know, still far, still seems seems like a great set right now. It's going to be interesting to see that synergy with the skill military. I'm glad they're getting some love. I'm glad they're trying to put together another team. It's going to be interesting to see that dynamic. Um, especially if this can be combined with the, the X-Factor team, especially with the X-Factor being uh, surrounding around the critical hit chance and critical hit damage, right? So it's going to be interesting to see some team dynamics for sure. So as always, you guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Hope this was able to provide some insight, just a little bit of entertainment for you all. And as always, have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you in the next one.